Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and we are looking at the throat chakra today. Absolutely. So I speak. I speak. It's the voice within yourself. But before I look at the card of Five of Cups, which is obviously about emotions and speaking about them, um, I forgot to read about the heart chakra yesterday. And um, I... The reason I'm going to read it to you is because if you haven't seen yesterday's reading, I could go watch this. This is relevant to that reading. And it says, it signifies unconditional love of self and others. It is where our soul finds its creative expression of love and gratitude. It is through the heart chakra that we access these strengths and embrace the world and those around us with this energy. It is here we hold and nurture the inner child and learn to live in compassion and with acceptance. When the heart is open, we make decisions from a place of divine wisdom and feel safe to express love in a healthy way. We relate and communicate from a more loving space and find ourselves open and receptive with less judgment and attachment. When the heart chakra is healthy and in balance, we experience a deep sense of inner peace and calm and have the ability to see the good in others. If you are able to let go of past hurt, Forgive yourself and others and start to experience a deeper level of intimacy in your life. It is through our heart chakra that we are able to experience deep gratitude for life and express our joy and happiness. And forgive yourself and others. Yesterday was all about forgiveness and even talk about it in here. So, um, they also um, said cleansing and balancing the heart chakra and I'm going to read you this sit and lie comfortably and place a rose quartz crystal in your hand or on your heart chakra allow this energy to support your process now place your hands on your heart and imagine a beautiful ray of green and pink light flowing into your heart imagine you're receiving divine love into your heart and allow this light to enter into your inner chambers, washing away hurts and fears. Feel any blockages dissolve in the light as your heart opens to love, compassion, and gratitude. Okay? So I added this part because yesterday was a hard day, Pisces. It was a hard day. And even in this book of the chakra reading cards that I'm reading from, there's a card of forgiveness where the heart chakra is. So forgiveness is definitely from the heart. Okay? There's play, forgiveness and love and inner child and they were all affected here so we're going to talk about the throat chakra and the five of cups is here um, it's located at the center of the throat the chakra holds the key to speaking once higher and divine truth clearly with ease and grace it reflects our need to communicate with others and be received and understood as we express ourselves in the world the ability to express our creativity and to be seen by others as the true shining light we are when the throat chakra is healthy and in balance, we are able to express our truth clearly, listen to others effectively, and maintain our own truth. It is through the throat chakra that we learn to express our soul's purpose and find our powerful voice. So it's all about listening, communication, life purpose, truth, aligned to soul's purpose, expression, creativity, finding our voice, self-expression, and creativity. So we're looking at that today. I speak. And what are you speaking with the Five of Cups here today, Pisces? Are you speaking of your woes? Are you speaking of the opportunities that come from everything that you experience in life? And I feel that's the conversation, because it's about conversation, that you should be having with yourself. So let's see here. I'm going to take some clarifying cards here, Pisces. We're going to take a look at this. Three of Pentacles. The Fool. Okay. So, winners and losers, I always, I always, the, the two fives here is speaking to me very clearly of what you see as a defeat and what you see as a win. 
the Three of Pentacles, it's, I, I feel that that's a partnership, a, a, a team of people or spirit guides of energies, whatever you want in your life, but it's definitely a team that's going to reinforce you, that's going to help you find the answers that you need. The Three of Pentacles for me is always my card of spirit, spirit, and it's also, it could be a, a brand new project beginning, um, assistance that you're getting here. Mentors, planning, learning, a coming together to make things happen. So I feel there's a coming together. The three pentacles with the three cups down, I feel is telling me the same thing. It's telling me that these things um, should be seen as something that can be um, a lesson learned, a, a mentorship, if you know, like a test and trials to be had to find answers to. You see a lot of brainstorming here. And this is going to help you move past forward. And it's by seeing the two sides. It's absolutely by seeing the two sides that you're going to be able to speak your truth. Okay? Let's pull more cards. Let's do the Celtic Cross um, here. Pisces. Okay. Oh my god, that just, I didn't even see that come out of the, I'm going to have to look at the replay. Okay, so what's blocking you? The Wheel of Fortune? It's a cycle shift. Yeah, it's a cycle shift. Four of Pentacles is your um, foundation. Letting go of that control, right? Letting go of that need to put a right or wrong, left or right. There's a magician at the crown. Again, the crown is telling you you have all the tools that you need. You know what things mean. You know. You just know. Okay. Nine of cups. Your past. Your future. The Hermit and the Five of Wands. Through conflict, inner wisdom. Absolutely. Through conflict, inner wisdom. Problem solving is what makes you expand. What makes you see things in a different light. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your attitude or what you project to the world. The chariot. An unmoving chariot. <laughs> Stuck. How others see you, perceive you. Ace of Cups. Looking for answers, rejuvenating. Fresh start. Being offered. Your hopes and fears. The burden card coming in. I think you fear the burden, and then you have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the outcome, taking the lead, doing it. So, of course, we're talking about the throat chakra here, Pisces, no doubt about it. So, this is your voice. This is what comes out of your throat, what you talk to people about, what you talk to yourself about. That's that beautiful voice. I love the inner voice coming in as your throat chakra it's what we deny ourselves, okay? What do we deny ourselves right here? What do you deny yourself? Plain as day. She's looking here like she is in a state of confusion. What what do I do with all what do I do with all this? What does it mean? How do I communicate this properly? 
okay? Absolutely. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune going over it. Again, somebody who is, you know, trying to make heads or tails. But you know what he's doing? He's truing a wheel. I just found out about this stuff just recently. I didn't even know how or what or when. He is doing careful work to try to balance out this wheel. And that's what's causing you the problem. You're having a hard time to find that balance. And that's what you are putting out in the world. That's what your voice is saying. I don't know how to balance this. You're saying, I don't know how to balance this. I don't want to lose touch with what I've already got. Okay? I need to keep, I need to keep what I know is true. But the magician is telling you, you already have everything that you need. Okay? And before that, you've had a lot of gratitude, a lot of fulfillment in all the work that you've put in, Pisces. The voice that you've found for yourself so far. And in the future, they want you to be able to internalize conflict. Not internalize it as, as in making it worse. Internalizing it to understand the lesson and the wisdom. That's it. So that you can find the solutions to the problems. Or look at the conflict as, what am I here to learn? What am I supposed to be seeing or paying attention to? Is there something I'm repeating? Is there something I'm not seeing? These are conversations like the throat chakra you should be having with yourself. What is blocking me up? Okay? You're showing to the world I'm blocked. And the world sees you as being innovative in the way that you're finding situations and solutions to situations, I should say. You're afraid that you're going to stay burdened this way forever. You're not. You're absolutely not. You are going to move that mountain or that perceived mountain right now. Okay? All right. So, Pisces, let's see. I'm going to take... Life purpose and confidence. That, that makes sense to me because I don't feel you're, you're talking with confidence right now. I think you feel that you're floundering and you're not. You're actually speaking. You're looking for answers. You're looking for answers. I love the confidence and I like the life purpose is to confidently go into your life purpose. Absolutely. Do you see the wings that she has? Look at that. Wings to fly. Wings to take a chance. Wings to voice everything that you need. I feel that you are finding your voice. I feel that the further up you go, Pisces, in your energy chakras, the more you find who you're meant to be. You just need to really tap into um, your courage, your self-assuredness, your ability to move forward. Okay? Yeah. Um, I didn't pull one of these yesterday, so I'm going to pull one of them now. These are, I think, the soul's purpose, something like that. Let me see here. Self-awareness card deck. How self-aware are you? So, 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 so. Um,
relevant is the word I'm using. What I'm getting from them, Pisces, is that you you know a lot of things. You're so, you are aware about a lot of things. But you know sometimes it's that thing where you know something, but you don't know something. And I know some of you are going to say, yes, I understand. Absolutely. You know, you understand it in theory. But when it comes to applying it, it kind of just goes over your head and then something happens to concretize it like to, to make it concrete in your energy field and you go ah oh, Eureka I've got it okay so where can I ask for more help in my life until we can receive with an open heart <laughs> we're never really giving with an open heart when we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly un or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. So it's saying, today ask someone for help. Hmm. And receive it with an open heart. We did have the Three of Pentacles, and I thought, I told you that's about partnerships and, and a team. Ask for help, okay? Use your voice this way. Ask for help. Even if you think that what you're asking for may sound weird or ridiculous or, um, I don't know, ask for help. Ask your spirit guides. Uh, scream it on a hill if you need to. Ask for the help that you require. You will get it. People are generally want to help. Even if you don't use the advice that they give you. Let people offer their advice. Everybody has some knowledge to impart. Everybody has experience in life, their own experiences, and sometimes a great big chunk of it can help you, sometimes a little nugget of it can help you, but anything can move you past and forward the blocks that you have. Okay? If you're having a hard time to resolve conflict with somebody, ask other people how they do it. If you're having a hard time feeling self-assured, ask other people, somebody who is assured, ask them how they got through their blocks. Use your voice. Use your throat chakra. It is a powerful tool to get answers. Okay? All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go with this. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the second reading later on. I hope I can see you there. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Thank you so much for being here as always. Everything I offer is in the description box. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer you. Thank you so much. Love, light, blessings. Take care. Bye for now.